Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I'm going to show you how to do it. I can't tell you what it's called because I haven't put a title up yet. Hmm. So I don't know what it's called, but this is the tutorial to it anyway. If well, you should be able to see what this is called before you watch it. So you will yeah, you will know exactly what I'm not talking about because I haven't got a clue. Anyway, shut up now. Get on with this. Here's how it's done anyway. All you need to do is put your four aces on the top of the packet. Jump, 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 jump. Then do any kind of ooh, false cuts or shuffles that you want to do. Just so that you keep them four cards on the top of the packet. You then turn the packet facing up and get your spectator to take out any four spot cards. Um, not picture cards. It gets awkward if they start picking picture cards. So they take out any four the Eight of Diamonds, the Five of Spades, the Six of Spades, and the One of Spades, Seven of Clubs. So they pick out four cards. Then you inanely shatter to them as you do the boring part of dealing down four piles. I am purposely not doing any chat just to show you what it's like if there is none. Pretty boring. That's why you need to do some kind of a chat while you're doing it. Otherwise they'll they'll go away, they'll put the kettle on and make a cup of tea and then come back to watch the rest of the trick and forgotten what happened in the first half. Yeah. So anyway, they've gone and picked said cards. Right, now, in a pack of cards, you have 52 cards. You've just taken four cards out. That leaves you with 48. You've dealt four piles. 48 divided by four means 12. You've got 12 cards in each pile. That's just to save me having to physically go through them and count them out. It just give you a quick math lesson. So what you're going to do is take that number off 12. That makes four. So you're going to go oh, one, two, three, four, bang, on the top. And put it down. That's just repositioning the aces. If you didn't realise, all the aces did end up on the bottom. Yeah. That's a five. Take it off twelve is seven. Now what I done in the performance. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get a, a different one out in a minute. Five, so seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single cards. Throw the rest on the top. Let's change this one for a nine. Have we got a nine in here? We have. 9, 10, take it away from 12, 2 and 3. You've got 3 for that one. So what I've done in the performance, instead of just going 1, 2, 3, bang. No, take one off and then just... You're not taking nothing. It just gives the illusion that you're not doing just 3 cards. See what I mean? It'll throw your spectator off, especially if they are inclined to see who count how many cards he's shuffling off. You know, somebody who knows a bit about, a bit about the biz, 12 cards there, he's just dealt four off, he's just dealt seven off, he's just dealt three off. Yeah, I'll suss this out. If you make it so it looks like you're dealing a different number, a seven, so you're on five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bang. I've just done seven, but I haven't. I've just done five, because when I count down seven, the ace will be in the right place. Hopefully, if I didn't actually mess up, confuse myself. So, anyway, you go back to their card. They pick an eight. Deal down the first seven cards. Face up. One, two, eight, eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have dealt down seven. Take the eighth card, which is the ace, put it to one side, or even stick it on the card. You can go through the rest of the pack if you want to, but you don't have to. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven. And this is the one I might have messed up on. We never know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and you should end up with your four chosen cards which preferably are going to be the aces because everything looks better with aces almost anyway there we go that's how you've done that one that you know the title to that i don't at the moment and um, thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it very easy to do um i will see you again soon